Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to create a payoff matrix uh, for a game theory problem between two firms, and uh, then we're going to solve for the Nash equilibrium. So we've got two firms selling flying brooms. Uh, they are interconnected here, and they're trying to solve what is called a, a, a research game. Okay, And a game is any strategic situation where there's two uh, outcomes okay, um, that are interconnected. We have two you know at least two players where their their decisions are determined by what the other uh, player is, is is up to so you can write it however you want I'm gonna put this Nimbus company on the left and clean sweep on the top but you could do clean sweep this way and Nimbus this way either way uh, and there are four there are two strategies for each firm and there are two different outcomes so I'm gonna represent that with two different uh, strategies for the top player and then two different strategies for the left player okay and so let's make the top player here clean sweep and then we'll make this player here nimbus and we've got our two scenarios here they can spend 30,000 gallons a year on research or spend nothing on R&D. So I'm just going to, to abbreviate this, I'm just going to call this one spend, no spend. You could say no R&D, whatever. Uh, there. And then this is spend. And then no spend. And next we want, if neither firm spends, so now we want to put the outcomes in here. I'm going to write them with a comma. But it is also perfectly acceptable to do this, to take this payoff matrix here. Instead of writing it with commas, you could do slashes. So it's also possible to do slashes just like this. So just like that. And then this is exactly the same uh, situation. I'm just I'm just putting whatever the left player's out, out, outcome here or payoff is, is the first entry in the payoff uh, spot in the matrix and then the top players is the second one here down here this would be belonging to the left player this would be belonging to the right player okay so you could do uh, you could do that as well uh, either either way um, you could also make the slashes the other way it doesn't matter okay so I'm just going to use the commas so for so this would be left and then this would be top Okay. Uh, all right. So let's do clean sweep in red, and we'll do Nimbus in blue. And it makes it a little easier if you uh, color code it this way. Okay. So blue. It says if each firm conducts R and D, um, then each profit is maintained, but each firm's profit is lower by the amount spent on R and D. Okay. If Nimbus conducts R and D but clean sweep does not. Nimbus makes an economic profit of 120 gallons, while Clean Sweep has a loss of 20,000 gallons. So that would be Nimbus spends, so that would be right here, and then Clean Sweep does not. So Nimbus would be plus 120,000, and then Clean Sweep would be negative 20,000. And then if Clean Sweep conducts R&D but Nimbus doesn't, Clean Sweep makes a profit of 60,000. So that would be down here. And then Nimbus loses 10,000 uh, gallons of something. I don't know. Whatever these payouts are. So that's a negative 10,000. I'm going to write that a little clearer. Okay, so we got those two. Uh, if Clean Sweep conducts, okay, we already did that. 
if neither conducts, okay, if neither firm spends, Nimbus's economic profit is 80,000 and clean sweeps is 40,000. So this would be plus 80. And then Nimbus's was 40,000. You know, if you're color coding it, you don't really even need the, the commas, but it's common to do the commas. You might even see them in parentheses like this. And then if they both spend, uh, we're going to go lower by the amount that it costs. So it costs, and it tells us up there a little bit, it costs 30,000. Okay. So then if they, if they, if Nimbus spends, we're going to take 30,000 minus this, so it'd be 50,000. And then if clean sweep, Spends it would be plus ten thousand. Okay, now I've got my payoff matrix. Now I can solve for what is the best uh, best outcome. Okay, so we've we've done that part. Find the Nash equilibrium. Nash equilibrium. The technical definition is it's a it's a scenario where neither party has an incentive to change. Um, an easier, more direct way to think about it is it's the most likely solution to the game. It's most likely what's going to happen. Okay, so let's do Nimbus first. And Nimbus is going to consider their two choices here. If Clean Sweep spends, what's better for Nimbus? Spend, don't spend. Okay, 50,000 versus negative 10,000. 50,000 is better. I'm going to circle that. Now we're going to come over here. And now, if with some people, there's too many numbers. So it gets like confusing. So what you could do is you could actually take your hand and you could cover up these these choices because then there's less numbers, right? So now I've got uh, 120 versus 80,000. I'll get rid of that because I need that. I'm going to circle that one because 120,000 is better than 80,000. So um, Nimbus here is always better off to spend. That's called their dominant strategy, okay? So I'm going to put the DS. Dominant strategy is to spend, okay? Let's see what Clean Sweep is going to do. Now Clean Sweep has to choose if Nimbus spends, what's better for Clean Sweep? Spend and get 10,000. Don't spend and lose 20,000. Well, it's spend and get 10,000. And then if Nimbus doesn't spend, uh, we're doing, oh, I forgot to put a plus there. We're doing plus 40,000, plus 60,000. Okay, they also have a dominant strategy. Uh, the Nash Equilibrium is the scenario where neither party has any incentive to change. And that's true here. So this is the Nash equilibrium right here. And that is both spend. Okay, so this is both both firms profit is gonna be you, you would just say Nimbus is gonna make fifty thousand and clean sweep makes ten thousand. Okay, and you could say you would say the way you'd phrase this you'd say both would spend. 